Zero impact. Hey, it's Brian Lake back with a review you can use, and today we have Zero Impact High Protein Meal Bar uh, made with natural ingredients. I'm not sure what the uh, brand name. This is Buckle, Buck Wild Blueberry. Uh, let's see, Life uh, Life Lift Craving uh, Pro, 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 Propexol. It's got a bunch of stuff on the back. I don't know what any of this means. Um, BPX Sports uh, brand. Uh, Best Buy June 2018. Well, that's where we are. So this one bar has tiny, real tiny writing. So it's one serving, uh, 200, looks like 205 calories, 20 grams of protein, one gram of sugar, five grams of sugar alcohols, uh, eight grams of fiber, 19 grams of total carbs, but you know, only uh, one of those is actual sugars. Uh, so sugar alcohols, may, they may or may not count, don't know. Um, I keep forgetting to actually do some more research on it. So it is gluten-free, GMO-free, gluten-free, certified gluten-free. So it, it's got the emblem on the side. It's got some stuff on the back. Uh, they were on Twitter, they're on Facebook. I think it's VPX underscore sports, I think is the brand. It does seem kind of soft, um, but it looks on the, here they have strawberries and blueberries. So I'm not sure what. I've not, I don't believe I've ever had any other stuff. But picked this up at Jungle Gyms the other day. Okay, it is not the color I was expecting. I was expecting it to be white because of the milk or cream or whatever that's supposed to be. But it's kind of a chocolatey looking thing, almost like a soft brownie. Ooh, it's very berry flavor. I don't know what a buck wild blueberry means, but they're definitely like some wild berry, not strawberry. There's something. Ooh, it is very soft. It's very interesting texture. Looks like we've got some bumps of stuff. It just kind of came off of my hand. Don't even need the knife. It's very, very soft. It smells nice. Let's see how it tastes. Okay, so that was very interesting. Um, I didn't really know what to expect. For something that doesn't have much sugar, it's a little sweet. I mean, comparatively, it's not like sugary sweet. This is not, I've had much sweeter bars with, 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 with five or six grams of sugar. But the fruit, whatever fruit's in there, you can really taste the sugars from that. I don't think it has any added sugar at all. There's a bunch of writing on here that's way too small for my, my ancient eyes to read. Um, impact high uh, protein. Okay, so it has zero impact is the brand name, I guess. A registered trademark high protein. Um, meal bar. So it has... Decent flavor. I mean, flavor-wise, this is like a seven, maybe a seven and a half. But there's a grittiness to it that I don't know why, why there's a grittiness. And you can see there's probably a little ball of, of uh, whey protein. Even on the outside, it has this grittiness, almost sandy-like quality. Almost like they put the protein powder in there and you're just kind of eating that raw. Um, it has a feeling of, it's not baked, I don't think. Zero trans fats, one gram of eth etheritol, uh, I don't know what that is. I think it's a, ah, screw it. Uh, but I really don't know what to make of this bar. Um, it's got me perplexed on how I want to rank it. Because from a standpoint of the texture, that grittiness is kind of off-putting. It's like a six and a half on texture. But this is a low, it's 20 grams of protein one gram of sugar, I believe, I mean, there's the ingredients right there. And there's no way I can read that with my eyes. You know, 20 years ago, I could read that. So I don't know what the protein sources are. I'm going to have to look this up online afterwards. Um, but let's assume that it's all whey or mostly whey protein. And it's almost like it's raw. It's almost like they took a bunch of stuff together, kind of let it set, and then they cut them up. So they're not baked, but it is very soft. It's not chewy. It's not gooey, um, it's a little sticky, and then that grittiness is kind of like, almost like you're eating sand. It's, that, it's, that, it's very, very fine though. So I don't know what that is. From a standpoint of very low sugar, uh, high protein bars that I've had in the past, this is definitely one of the better ones. So I'm gonna rank it in that mindset. So don't compare it to say uh, a Fit Crunch 
or a Metrex bar is loaded with sugar, so don't compare to that. Uh, or some of the other brands that we've done that have been pretty good, but they've had, say, eight or nine grams of sugar or five or six. I mean, just five grams of sugar is five times what this has, and this only has five grams of sugar alcohol. So even if you're going to count all that as sugar, that's only six grams of total sugar with 20 grams of protein. You have a fruit backbone here, so you have some natural food, so it does feel like so this, I mean, this feels like something you'd make in your kitchen, um, just because, you know, to, to know what you put in it. And then from that standpoint, I think it has a, a more wholesome appeal. And so all that said, long-winded, I think this is an eight. This is a, definitely a solid eight in the realm of semi-homemade, uh, very low sugar, no GMO, no trans fats, none of that, the nut nasty stuff with some natural food sources. I mean, it is processed stuff here. Um, but it feels like someone just chopped a bunch of fruit, maybe a few nuts, put in some whey protein. I mean, even the, I don't even know what this, this brown backbone is of stuff, but it has a, there's a, there's an aroma there that I, I can play, I just can't remember what it is. It's very familiar, but I can't remember what it is. So from that standpoint, I mean, I grew up with stuff in the, in the seventies and early eighties, especially the late seventies <clears throat> on the fine gold diet. And we made a lot of our own stuff granola and things like that. So to me, this reminds me of that mindset and that some of the stuff that we made back then. I mean, we didn't make protein bars, but some of the things that we did and the rice cakes and all that. So in the realm of the whole food, wholesome, all natural stuff, this I think is an eight. I mean, it doesn't say all natural. So, you know, don't be yelling and screaming at me in the comment section, but natural flavors um, and, you know, made with natural ingredients. So I don't, it's not, it doesn't say all natural. So Live powerfully, uh, yeah, BPX, uh, live, you know, there's a lot of stuff on here, 100% back, money guaranteed. So, I don't know who this guy is, and, and you guys need to, you know, make a bigger bar or something so I can read it. Um, but in the realm of all that, I'm giving it an 8. And so, just keep that in mind. I mean, on my Optimum Nutrition uh, protein bar review, the, a protein powder review that I did a while ago, I even I preface that a lot because that was very low sugar. So you have to rate it in that realm in that space. And compared to something with eight grams of sugar, it's not going to taste nearly as good, and it doesn't. Uh, so and this would you know compared to something with higher in sugar, five six times the sugar, that's probably going to taste better, the sweetness and all that. So I'm giving it an eight. Thank you very much. I know I'm beyond uh, diarrhea of the mouth here. So there you go. Zero impact. Quite good. I'm gonna, they have other flavors at Jungle Gyms. Definitely going to pick them up and try them and review them as well. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for all the sharing. I've, I've had, when I tweet these out, I get likes and retweets. I love it. Keep it going. Um, new subscribers. I got uh, several more this week. Got two more today. Very good. Please spread, the, uh, you know, share my channel as much as possible. Uh, share it out on all your social media, everywhere. And... Uh, have this the place to come to discuss nutrition and supplements and ideas and i know i've had requests for doing workout videos and all that i gotta get there's a lot of logistics i have to get out of the way first uh i do want to get to that i just don't know when i mean this is a part-time gig unless we really rack crank the subscribers so i'm hoping this year to have, get a lot more than we did last year all right thanks so much and we'll see you next time goodbye Did I do that at the beginning? I don't remember.